Hey, how's it going everyone? Mr. Montgomery again, and we are still on Unit 9. It says so up here, Lesson 9-3, and we are on page 373 right there. So if you're not on this page yet, if you do not have your Robot Turtle books, pause the video, just stop, pause, pause where it is, and please, please get your workbook out, and then when you're all set to go, then go ahead and hit the play button. Alright, so if the video is still playing, I'm going to guess that you got your Robot Turtle book out, and you're all set to go. And uh, what we're going to be working on today is trying to figure out how to tell when one number is bigger than the other. And maybe you're thinking, well, I, I know that 2 is bigger than 1, or 11 is bigger than 10, but what about some really big numbers? It can get confusing sometimes. So, let's see. Today, they want us working with the numbers, uh, we're going to work with 37 and 73. Now, if you want to go ahead and get some colored pencils if you have them, and use two different colors for this, that sounds like a great idea, and it'll make things ten times more fun. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm going to make, let's see, 37, I'm going to write 37 over here in red, 37. And... Make a little squiggle. Doo -doo -doo. Over here, in blue, I'm going to write the number 73. Now, what makes these two numbers a little confusing for some friends is because they have the same two numbers in them. They both have threes, and they both have sevens. But we can draw a quick picture to help figure out which number is bigger than the other. So, let's go ahead and make the number 37 using um, some, you know, 10 sticks and 1 circles. Or, if your uh, mom or dad picked up the, uh, the little cutouts that I made for you guys at the school, you can use those to help you too, okay? Because there's 10s and 1s there. So, let's do 37 first. So, first thing we're going to do is look at the 10s place. Which number is in the tens place, the three or the seven? It's the three. The three is in the tens place. So, we need to draw three sticks. So, that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three. So, we have three tens. Now, what number is in the ones place? Seven. Right, seven. It's right there. Psst. Seven. So, we're going to draw seven circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now, let's go ahead over here and do the same thing for the number 73. Let me switch my colors. So again, the first thing we need to do is look at the tens place and write and or write draw how many tens there are. So which number is in the tens place? The seven or the three? It's the seven. The seven's there. Right, it's the seven. So go ahead and draw how many tens we need for our tens place. How many ten sticks do we need? Go ahead, draw them real quick, and we'll see if we come up with the same number of ten sticks. Did you draw the 10 sticks? I think you did. I'm pretty sure you did. So I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then how many 1s do we need to draw? Go ahead real quick. on your Try it on your own. Just give, give it a try. Give it a try. Now draw some 1 circles for our 1s place number. How many circles are you going to draw? All right, did you do it? Did you do it? Was it too fast? Did, 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 you're good? Oh, okay. You know what? I think you're good. I think you're good. So let's see if we have the same number of one circles. We have a three in the ones place, so we're going to make three circles. One, two, and three. Now, the first thing we're going to do to figure out how, uh, which number is bigger is looking at the tens, okay? So 
Uh, we're going to look at the tens place number and the ten sticks. Okay, the the sticks we made. Which number has the most sticks? Which one? Point to it on the screen. Point to it on the screen or on your book. Which one has the most tens sticks? You know what? I, okay, I really hope you're pointing to the number seventy three, because it has way more ten sticks than 37. There's only three over here, but there's seven over here. So, we're gonna, we, we need to circle which number is the biggest one. Which is the biggest number? Circle it. Go for it. And I'm really hoping that you're circling this number right here. 73. It is the biggest number there. Because, look at all of these tens. It has so many tens. And it has way more than over here. So that's why 73 is the bigger number. So we always look at the tens first. Now, you might be thinking, well, Mr. Montgomery, hold on. What if the tens place has the same number? Dun, dun, dun. Well, we can sort that out too. There's an easy way to sort this out. Again, we can use a picture to help us. Okay, let's, uh, Let's keep the number 37, but let's pretend we are going to have a very similar number over here. Okay. So if you have some extra space, you can, you can uh, draw this out with me. So let's say that instead of 73, we had the number 36. And we were thinking, oh man, how can we tell which one is is bigger? Which one's the bigger number? Well, first thing we have to do is draw it out. We're going to go ahead and draw out this number. So we look at the tens. There is a three. So we draw three sticks. We have three tens. Then we look at the ones. We have a six. So we draw six dots. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing that we just did with 37 and 73. First thing we're going to do is look at the tens place. Do you see a difference in the tens place? We see three over here, three tens, and we see three over here. Well, there's no difference in the tens place, so we go to the next place. The, our next step is to look at the ones place. Then we see which number is bigger in the ones place. Since they both have the same number in the tens. So for 37, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. Okay. And look, we can see the 7 in the ones place there. That's going to help us. And over here for 36, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dots. For our ones place over here, and you see that there is a six in the ones place right there. So what number is bigger? Six or seven? Seven. So in this case, of which is bigger, 37 or 36, it would be 37. Okay? So you always look at the tens place first. If the tens place is the same number, then you look at the ones place. Okay? All right. Let's turn to the next page and do some practice problems. All right, so now we are on page 374. It says it right here at the bottom here, 374. And they kind of made it a little bit easier for us right here, right? Because, like, they already have the pictures. <laughs> that, that was, like, half the work right there. You guys are going to be flying through this in no time. Uh, let's check out this convince me real quick. Which number is greater, 38 or 26? How do you know? Let's do this little practice problem real quick. 38 or 26. So we're going to zoom in really quick. Okay, for one side, we are going to make the number 38. Make a little squiggle go down the center. And on the other side, let's make the number 26. Alright, now... 
go ahead and draw the number 38 with, with uh, 10 sticks and 1 circles. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to, uh, to try that out on your own. Getting a little used to having to draw a quick picture if we need to. All right, let's check your work to make sure you drew it correctly. So we have three in the ten, so we draw three sticks. Two, three. We have eight ones, so we draw eight circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, go ahead and do the same thing for the number 26. Draw out the number 26. All right, did you draw it? Let's check your work for number 26. We have two in the ten, so we draw two sticks. We have six in the ones place, so we draw six circles. Two, three, four, five, and six. Done. So our first step is what? Are we going to look at the ones first or the tens first? We always look at the tens first. It's the first number we see in the number, so it's going to be the first part we're going to look at in the pictures. So, we see in 26, how many tens are there? There's just two. We can even see right here, right? There's two tens. And over here, for number 38, how many tens are there? Well, we have one, two, three. And you can even see that there's a three in the tens place right there. So, which number do you think is bigger? Go ahead, point to it on screen. Which number is bigger, 38 or 26? The bigger number is 38. Because three tens are more than two tens, right? We have three tens here. We only have two right here. Three is bigger than two. All done. That's it. All right. Let's see what, they, what happened with number one over here. All right, ready for this? So, write a number to match each model. Then circle is greater than or is less than. So, they're kind of changing things up on us a little bit. So, what they're doing, let me show you the top of this page first. Uh, so they had us only doing which number is bigger. Now they're trying to have us use these special terms called greater than or and less than. So if something is greater than, they're talking about the first number. Like over here. Let's look at this first box. We know that 98 is bigger than 94. They might have the same amount of 10s. But the 1s is what tells us that 98 is bigger. So for this, we would say greater than. And you could even circle it over here if you want to. Greater than. And they use this special... <clears throat> excuse me. They use this special symbol right here. It kind of looks like an arrow. So what we're going to be doing over the next couple days is when we talk about greater than and less than, we are going to be using this arrow. And I will be showing you guys something really uh, might be kind of a little funny. <laughs> I, I like to use it because it makes things a little bit easier to understand. Um, this arrow I always picture as an alligator mouth. And it always wants to eat the bigger number. So, see right here? And it make it a little, some teeth. Right? A little alligator mouth. He wants to eat that 98. So when the first number is bigger, we always say greater than. And when the second number is bigger, we say less than. Because you're always talking about the first number first. So 98 is greater than 94. But over here, we have 32 and 35. Okay, they have the same tens, right? But the ones place, 2 is much smaller than 5. Much smaller, right? So, 
for, we would say, less than, because they're asking about this number 32. Really, when you see a problem like this, they're saying, is 32 more? And you got to say no for this one. So we're going to say less than. And remember, this alligator is going to want to eat the bigger number. So I'm going to make an arrow where the opening faces the big number. And look, he's got some teeth in there. Arr, 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 arr. He wants too much on those big numbers. Arr, 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 arr. And that is the, uh, the less than sign. Okay? So greater than is where um, the opening points to the first big the first number, right? That's greater than the o the big open part points at the big number. Less than is when the arrow opening points at the second number. We're going to work on that. I know it's a little confusing, but as long as you remember that the alligator wants to eat the bigger number, I think it'll make things pretty easy on you. So let me make sure that uh, I draw the little arrows next to this example so we don't forget because the words greater than and less than, um, it took me a long time to to get comfortable with those terms. So I can only imagine what, how you guys feel. So <clears throat> remember for greater than, this is the symbol we, we are going to be using and for less than. That's the symbol we're going to use, okay? So let's look at number one to see what is going on and to figure out why on earth they would circle greater than. Well, first thing we're going to do is figure out what number is being made right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And then for our ones, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So that's how they got the number 78. They counted out the tens, then the ones. Let's look, take a look at the other side. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, tens. And one, two, three, ones. Okay, so we got to figure out if 78 is bigger or smaller than 53. So when we look at the tens place, right? Look at all these tens here. There are way more tens towers in the first number, 78, than there are in the second number. So we could say that 78 is greater, and greater, all that means is bigger, means, oh, let's see if I can write this small enough right here. It just means bigger. Don't let it, don't let it scare you. So 78 is bigger than 73. So that's why they circled this one right here. Okay. So for number two, this is what I want you to do first. I want you to write down the number that is being made in each picture. That is going to be your first step. So look at this picture, write down the number. Look at this picture, write down the number. And I'll give you guys a couple seconds to do that. All right, if you're not done, please do me a favor, pause the video. If you are done, we're going to keep on moving. All right, so let's see how many tens we have. One, two, two tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four. Four ones. Now let's look at our second picture. How many tens? One, two. Then how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So what we have to figure out now is if 24 is greater, which is bigger, right? Or less, which just means small, smaller. That's all it means. So is 24 bigger or smaller than 29? Well, let's look at the 10s first. They both have a 2. Now let's look at the 1s. We have a 4 and a 9. So what do you think? Pick your answer. Do you think 24 is bigger or smaller than 29? Is 24 bigger or smaller than 29? Circle your answer. Did you circle it? All right. The answer is, it's smaller. It is smaller, because look, four, four ones is much less than nine ones. So it's, 24 is less than, all right? Let's just do one more together on the next page, and then I'll have you do your independent work. Now we are on page 375, and we're just going to do number three at the top, okay? So what I would like for you to do is first write down what number each picture makes on the line below and then after that circle whether the first number is greater or I'm actually going to make sure I write the other word also so remember greater means bigger and less than means smaller Okay, so remember, write the numbers, and then circle whether that first number is bigger or smaller than the second one. Okay, if you're not done yet, pause the video, hit the space bar, then when you're ready, hit play. All right, let's find out what each number is first and see if we got the correct answer. So first we count the tens, one, two, three, four. We have four tens and one, two, three ones. So it makes number 43. I'm going to change up the color. Our next one, we have one, two, Tens, and then how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, is 43 bigger or smaller than 27? Well, first we look at the tens. Is four tens bigger than two tens? It sure is. It absolutely is. Four is bigger than two. So, we would circle is greater than. And that's our answer. So, if you are not in my classroom and you are enjoying this video and learning along with us, awesome. Just make sure you stop the video here. Let your teacher know that you are all finished and ask him or her what they would like for you to do next. Now, for all the friends in my class, we are going to move on to our independent work. Now, for our independent practice, make sure you're clicking on that man in the blue box, right? And then click on Classwork. And you are going to do 9-3 Quick Check. Just like we always do every day, guys. Do the Quick Check. If you still have plenty of time after this assignment, go ahead on to 9-3 Extra Practice and see if you can get 100% on this. Because this is a little bit trickier of a, uh, of a lesson today. See if you can get 100%. And if you still have more time after that, you can go ahead on Pink Cat and play the Find the... I think it's Find the Bunny Rabbit game. Yeah. All right. So, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know at the end of class. Uh, or you can sit in if I'm still teaching the rest of the uh, friends in the classroom. Other than that, I hope that this video helped you guys, and I hope that you're understanding everything just fine. I really hope you are. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.